Hello everybody and welcome, this is Common and Cam. In today's video, I'm going to be covering all of the Transformers news that we got out of Hasbro's Investor Day today. So we got live action news, we've also got Earthspark news, so let's just talk about Rise of the Beast. Of course, people are waiting in anticipation of the new trailer, and I think it's still going to be a while until we get a trailer, but at least we got a full render of Optimus Prime in his robot mode, and it looks pretty nice, pretty cool, good to see more of that design. We do get a glimpse of Optimus Primal and Bumblebee, but the image is so small you can't really tell, but a lot of people are saying that this is our first look at Optimus Primal. Now I feel like we've already had our first look of Optimus Primal in beast mode, at least in CGI render. Of course we remember that toy from a while back, but then we also have this CGI render on an evergreen packaging. Now I know a lot of people think, well it's evergreen, so that doesn't mean for the movie. Well that toy is for the movie, and I feel like despite it being a simplified design, I feel like that's actually how he's going to be, because well the toys are on the horizon and because they're not going to give it the brand label of Rise of a Beast yet, I feel like they're going to slap these toys that they have ready to ship on anything and that being evergreen. Of course the colours are pretty basic and it doesn't represent how it could actually look in the movie, but still I, always, I feel like that this CGI render here, this beast mode, could be how he actually looks in the movie because you look at the Octopus Prime CGI render, that's not how it's actually going to look in the movie. That render is for toy packaging purposes. You know, they kind of dial it down a bit. It's not actually the CGI model from the movie. It's based on it, but it's a more simplified cartoon version. And I feel like what we're getting with this Octopus Primal here is a more simplified version, just like the Octopus Prime one. But it, this is obviously used for toy packaging. So, yes, this is how he looks in the movie, but when we actually see the realistic CGI that they're going to use for the movie, it's going to look 10 times better and 10 times different. Now I know a lot of people are upset that we haven't had a trailer yet or that of a teaser trailer. Well the film comes out next July and I feel like putting a teaser out now is a little bit too soon. I feel like we'll get one at the end of the year or if not actually in a few weeks because I know people were expecting it a few weeks ago and sadly they didn't give us one but they never promised one. It has been actually shown though at this Hasbro um, event, so people have seen the trailer. So with people seeing the trailer today, possibly, I am not getting anyone's hopes up whatsoever because I don't want to do that. It could be possible that we could get a trailer either next weekend or the weekend after, maybe sometime in October, I don't know. At the latest, maybe November, because it'll be a good marketing strategy to have a teaser for the movie and then have it released around the same time that we get a brand new TV show, Transformers Earthspark. So I don't know, we could get it at the end of the year or possibly in the next few weeks because people have actually seen the trailer that they plan to release or I should say the teaser trailer that they plan to release. You know, it, it will be coming soon guys but when I, I it's all speculative at this point but i shouldn't get anyone's hopes up like don't get anyone's hopes up about it thinking it's going to be next weekend we just don't know but i feel like maybe just maybe people who have seen the trailers today i feel like they're not going to wait long to show it to everybody else as well so i guess we'll just have to wait and see We've also got news that Hasbro and Paramount have renewed their contract for Transformers and G.I. Joe properties, so that means just more movies in the future. Now let's move on to Earthspark. We've got Season 2 greenlit. We've not even had Season 1 yet, and they're already confident that it's going to do well. And, you know, I expect at least three seasons of Transformers Earthspark. We also have a video game of Transformers Earthspark. Now I know it's been a while since we've had a Transformers game, the last one we had really was Transformers Battlegrounds on consoles. They also have another game that's been released, a Tactical Arena, but I'm pretty sure that's actually been around for quite a while, but it's acting like it's new. I don't know. We've also got updates that they are still working on Earth Wars and then Tactical Arena, so that's cool. That's for mobile games, but when it comes to console games, we will be getting a brand new Transformers game in the skin of Earthspark. And this developer is by Coatsync, the same people who did Transformers Battlegrounds. Now some people may be upset to hear that news because, well, is that meaning it's going to be another strategy game? We simply don't know. It could possibly be. If you remember, I was lucky enough to have a review copy of Battlegrounds and I gave it a 50-50. A fair review to be fair, it just was lacking in a lot of things like characters and stuff. I wish it had a bigger roster. I mean, 
this was the first time I played a strategy game like this. You know, I'm used to strategy games as in Worms, but Worms is fun. This just, I don't know, it was fine, but that's all it was, fine. And it wasn't really memorable, to be fair. And they actually did do DLC for this game as well, in case people don't know about that. Um, but yeah, I feel like we might get this kind of game, but in Earth Spark skin, but I don't know. We'll just have to see. Maybe they'll learn a lot from the mistakes they made in this game and apply new improvements so it's a lot more different um you know because i just felt like there was more to be done with battlegrounds but i don't know coat sync as a developer like i don't know what kind of other games they have um in the works so they might try doing something a little bit different and that'll be cool that'll be refreshing give us something else instead of a strategy game i'm not gonna say they are making a strategy game i just want to make that very very clear i do not know what the earth spark video game is gonna be it could be a strategy game i just think it could be because well we we, the last game we had from these guys was Battlegrounds. So, I don't know. I'm hoping for something different. I want something different. I know a lot of people were upset about that because, you know, the whole news with the video games of Transformers recently have, has been a bit crazy. It's all over the place. We don't really know what's going off with the Transformers console games. Well, at least we know that we are going to be getting an Earthspark game. I expect that to come out probably around next year, around the second season of Earthspark. Um, maybe that will be the perfect timing for it, really. I don't expect it to be coming out anytime soon, else the marketing would have already been uh, shown. You would have already heard about it if they planned to release it this year. But anyway, guys, that's all the news I have on the movies and Transformers Earthspark. A lot to cover, a lot more to be excited for. You know, there'll be more news coming down the line, especially regarding to the movies. You know, I expect in a few weeks or months to get a lot of Rise of the Beast news, without a doubt. We're going to get so much of that when it starts rolling in 2023, anticipating the release of the film when it comes out in July. I'm really looking forward to it. I can't wait to see where the next step is for this live action movie franchise so this news information today is just breadcrumbs but we'll get more to talk about in the next coming months anyway guys if you're new to this channel be sure to subscribe because i cover all the transformers news updates instantly if you're new to this channel i rank every character design from worst to best check out my latest one that i did with my good friend dr lockdown we talk about lockdown there's also a galvatron one and a devastator one Anyway guys, this has been Common and Cam, and until the next video, goodbye.